today I'm going to talk about electromagnetic waves and plasma. As you have remembered that uh, in the previous lectures we have uh, discussed about electrostatic waves where we have the condition of k parallel to b1 and b1 equals 0. So by using these conditions we have uh, gone through several uh, possible electrostatic waves that can exist in plasma like electron plasma waves which has the expression of omega p square plus k square v thermal square ion acoustic waves ion cyclotron waves now we are going to talk about today about electromagnetic waves so uh, first of all the condition for the electromagnetic waves is that b1 is not equal to 0 that's a primary condition and uh, for the simplest case, uh, to start with, I have taken B not equal 0. But before discussing electromagnetic waves in plasma, and, uh, I want to show you the expression for the electromagnetic waves in vacuum. So that we can find out what's the uh, modification in electromagnetic waves with that production of plasma. So in order to discuss electromagnetic waves in plasma, we need two of the Maxwell's equations is del cross E1 equals minus partial B1 by partial T and C square del cross B1 is partial E1 by partial T. So in order to simplify these equations, I am going to take the term of any of the any of the equations. Here I am considering this in, uh, in vacuum. As you already know that in, uh, in some medium there will be a J1 term is going to be appear here. But uh, for the time being, I am neglecting this term as for the case of the vacuum. So now take the curl of this equation. Why I am taking curl? I am just trying to solve these two equations. Of, of the electromagnetic waves in vacuum. Now substitute this the value of del cross E1 from this equation here and then I will get Now here we have del cross del cross B1 and uh, by exploiting the property of del cross del cross B1 we can find it any, uh, uh, in any, any standard electromagnetic uh, book like uh, Griffiths that you will find out this uh, expression of del cross del cross B1. So by using this uh, expression here I am going to find out, okay first of all and then I am going to take, uh, okay, let me have the equation. So it's del cross del cross B1 will be del del dot B minus del square. equals minus partial 2 B1 by partial T square. And you can see this uh, partial by partial T and this partial by partial T. And there you can see that uh, for, for each and every case del dot B equals 0. So this term will vanish. Now I am going to consider that my uh, perturbed quantities as we have already discussed many times in uh, that uh, all the perturbed quantities are going to be something like that. So by taking the del of this one and uh, by taking del square of uh, B1, so I will get for del square B1, I'm going to get minus K square B1. 
and for partial to b1 by partial t square i am going to get minus iota into minus iota plus and minus omega square b1 now substitute these values in this equation i will get c square k square b1 equals omega square b1 so from here as b1 is not equal to 0 omega square equals c square k square this is the expression for the electromagnetic waves in plasma uh, in vacuum so there is no contribution from any medium so you are just uh, seeing omega square equals c square k square which can easily be written as omega by k equals c that is the phase velocity of the wave is the speed of light and also you can see the group velocity is also that is d omega by d k is also equal to c if you if you calculate that so the group velocity is also c and the phase velocity is also c so this is the electromagnetic waves in vacuum